Hello everybody, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Gemini. Gemini, if you didn't see the videos I put out on Monday, you might want to check those out in my playlist. They are, where will you meet your next love? All right, Gemini. Okay, let's focus on you. The cards just want to pop out when I'm talking. Gemini, what is the overall energy surrounding you in your love life this week? Overall energy surrounding Gemini. Too many. Gemini, Gemini. There you go, that one wants to come out. Goblins. Ooh. Someone's facing their demons. Magic stream. Yeah, there's something beginning to flow here. Somebody is trying to manifest something. They're facing their demons. Someone has a little fear. Okay. Facing their demons. Yeah, there's a cycle that's going to end. I feel like this person's, you know, they're manifesting something. Things are starting to flow. Uh, I feel they're trying to learn to go with the flow. Okay, to put an end to some kind of cycle here. They want, I think you've got somebody here who's accomplishing that. Yeah, they're gaining some kind of strength and confidence. Okay, possibly in themselves. I feel this is somebody who... This is a, you know, strength is an energy of somebody who uh, is taming the beast within themselves, okay? Facing their fears, finding that strength and the courage to do so, to put an end to something, because they want things to go in their favor. And I feel like there is a whole new cycle beginning with this person. They're seeing things differently. So very interesting. Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Yeah, somebody's purging and healing something here. They're letting go of something. Feel they're just, they're either just finishing this up, like there's a cycle ending here. And they're taming the beast within themselves. Something about letting things flow so they can manifest a new beginning. So things will go in their favor. So really nice. They got to face their demons. Yeah fears to do with something finding that emotional balance going within to release old relationship baggage and things like that so this is someone who's learning to love themselves first i see some kind of communication yeah they're getting ready to communicate here they're trying they want to make sure they approach you in the right way uh, they're about to make this choice to put an end to something this is somebody who is looking for the one okay and this is a person who generally things go in their favor the world is their oyster but they had some things they needed to sort out so i see there's some sort of a communication they're moving away from this energy feeling more passionate more creative yeah they're about to make a choice there's been some kind of pause they're looking at things differently they've gone within to reflect and i feel they're going to approach you find that strength and courage to approach you about something here Okay, but it could be them seeing things different, doing things differently so things go in their favor. So really nice. They may be changing their perspective, their approach to life in general, to uh, to relationships. Yeah, this person's going through a lot of change. I feel they're coming back around. They could be far away at a distance, okay, traveling, that kind of energy. But I feel this is this this person's ready for change. They're ready to let go of something. Yeah, I feel as though they want to reach out. They're a little shy. May want to apologize for not coming around, not going with the flow. Uh, they they're definitely reaching out. They have they're going to tell you about this. A little apprehensive about it, but they will. Yeah. So they had some fears. They want to talk to you about. Uh, they want to come around. They probably want to eventually come and see you by the looks of it. So, wow, they're going to change their approach, and they are a little afraid. This person's maybe had their heart broken, or they had some fears. They may have just had a lot of heartache in their life when it comes to love. Yeah, this person, a little bit of fear of commitment, okay, or they've had their heart broken in relationships, commitments before. Uh, I feel that there you are. Yeah, you want to know the truth. Now, I feel like unless you hear what you need to hear here you likely are going to cut this person out but i see the queen of swords so it's sort of telling you that there's something here you're going to learn from this before you make a decision it's telling you to um, use all your strength your confidence but tame that beast that need to ask maybe too many questions at first i feel some of you may be um 
communicated something with this person that's helped them. It's like you want to teach them how to treat you or there's just a communication, a need for clarity and truth to do with commitment, marriage, and faith. You may not have a lot of faith in this person, okay? There's something to do with this energy here. So let's see what this is going to be. I don't want to jump to conclusions. As I see this person either has a fear of commitment fear a change or they've gone through a lot and they want to tell you about it i think this is you've got someone here who said they're heartbroken um they may have had some painful relationships commitments i feel there's something that they're learning themselves because they're going within they're looking at things from every angle in a different way very nice tell me about goblins why is this here yeah so you have somebody who's moving away from this energy Someone may have moved away from you, all right, or this is a process, yeah. They, I feel like you got somebody coming around here, coming back around. Yes, they've gone through a lot since the last time I feel you've talked to them. You definitely want to know the truth. Uh, you, want it, I, I, you want clear communication too, but look at you, looking into the future. Magic stream, why is this here? Yeah, there you are. Yeah, so I feel there's some kind of communication that you want some clarity. Uh, I feel maybe you told someone they need to learn to go with the flow. But there's that, you know, the magic stream, something manifesting. This is something you're manifesting. You want the truth. You want the clarity. You want to know something. Okay. Uh, there's mystery, confusion, delusions, fears, but it's somebody's ghosts in their closet, things that they need to let go of, okay? Yeah, so I feel as though this is somebody you've been waiting patiently for this truth, this clarity. Yeah, you want someone to come towards you just right. There's something here about a communication to do with relationship, marriage, commitment. Uh, I feel as though you're waiting for this person feel as though you're waiting for them very patiently to speak, to tell them your truth. Uh, you see this person as the one, possibly, uh, but there is a need for balance. Something to do with marriage, commitment, balance, justice, doing things right. Tell me about compass. Why is the compass? Yeah, it's time to put an end to something here. Maybe you told this person you didn't want to invest in them unless there was a commitment or there's some kind of communication here. I don't want to say what it is because I feel it's very open because you're pointing out into this direction, okay? Tell me about compass. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, there's something coming to an end. I feel like there's a new beginning. I feel like you made yourself very clear to somebody. I and it could be a past situation because I see them moving the other way. There is something this person had to sort out. I feel like you're waiting patiently for this person maybe to get a divorce or something. I don't know. Let's see. Tell me about strength, confidence, bravery. Why is this here? It's a new beginning. There's some clarity. Things are about to be cleared up to have a new beginning. Ah, yes, there's some communication. Very strong, very passionate. They're going to, this is somebody who is uh, becoming very confident about expressing themselves. They're ready for a new beginning. I feel they are. They're going to come in and talk to you. And I feel like you're going to ask a lot of questions uh, about um, if they're still in any kind of relationship. I feel like you want some truth here to do with something. You want the truth, nothing but the truth. And I feel it has to do with patience, investing in a relationship, a commitment, whether it has to do with you or or it has to do with them, past relationships. They got baggage. I feel they needed to let go. There is going to be some communication about it. Purging and releasing, letting go. Let's see what this star is about. Yes, I see that star energy. I feel as though you have a you hold this person, you value this person, I feel, and they actually may value you. They may want to tell you, but I feel it's about their approach. Uh, this is somebody who's taken a break, taken a pause, and they most definitely are seeing things differently. There we go. Yeah, that Empress. Yeah, they you value this person. They value you. They see you as a star. You have a lot to offer this person. Uh, there, you have a lot of abundance. I feel 
this is someone who's letting go of something here. Maybe they, it's the mother of their children, that kind of thing. Something they need to purge. But they do value you. And I feel like that's what they want to tell you or you want to tell them. You may be the one who wants to speak the truth to get this going. You're manifesting this. I see that Gemini energy. You want this new beginning, but I feel like there's this need for things to be out in the open. There's something that needs to be exposed to put an end to a cycle. So, yeah, look at this energy. I feel as though this is someone who gets a lot of attention. Okay, they may see you that way. I feel this is someone who gets a lot of attention. Um, they got a pretty big ego. <laughs> I see some communication. Yeah, they... They definitely do. You're you're holding yourself in high regard here, and I feel like you're not going to feed the monster. This is somebody, I think they're looking at you different. This is someone who sees you differently. They're pausing. They're seeing you from a different angle. Uh, they're, I do think they want to approach. They're about to make a choice. Yeah, look at that. This person's learning something here. I feel they're traveling. They may be at a distance. Uh, I feel that they're learning. They're going to take whatever it is they're learning through this. Uh, something you may have said, whether it be recently or in the past, uh, they're bringing with them. This is a communication coming forward. Yeah, they're about to make a choice to come and see you. They're moving from uh, some... I feel as though they. this is somebody who's moving away from that ego energy. You see, there's a lot of communication coming in very fast. This person... They want your attention. They may try to do something to get your attention, okay? But you are not going to feed the monster. You're waiting for this person to come. You're holding yourself in high regard, you know? If they come in, they dangle that carrot, you will set yourself free. And I do think they're seeing something here. Now, yeah, they're, they're learning something and headed your way. They're moving away from some very uncomfortable energy. Yeah, they're moving towards something stable. This is somebody who wants to... Um, they're either coming in to make peace or they're coming towards you with uh, being stable, reliable. They're looking at this. This is someone who's been stuck. They've gone within themselves and they're seeing things different. They may be even seeing themselves different, the situation between you and them or past relationships. So I see this person being very stable. I, I feel like they travel for uh, work. Uh, they're definitely somebody who's financially stable. I feel that they they got the whole world. The world is their oyster. They're used to getting a lot of attention. And I feel this is someone who kind of, they either don't like to be alone. They move from one connection to another. They always have another choice. They always have somebody. Uh, yeah, they may not have spent a lot of time alone. And I feel like if they have been doing that, like they're in that pause, they're kind of seeing themselves different. They're seeing the situation with you, their whole life different. I feel they are ready to move forward. I feel they're traveling to see you. They want something stable, uh, reliable. I feel like this person's never had a stable or reliable uh, relationship or commitment. Yeah, they're a little emotionally detached, you see. They've been looking at all this information, reflecting on the past. They want things to be right. They're thinking of a communication, kind of slow moving, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I definitely see Taurus and Leo and Libra. Gemini and Aquarius energy is here. I see Sagittarius energy. Yeah. I think you are ready for a new adventure too. I think you're ready. Um, look at this. Yeah, moving fast, moving. If, if this person reaches out to you, I feel like you're going to go for it. There may be traveling. Uh, something here to do with travel, money, finances, safety, security, and stability. But I feel they're looking at this. And I think this person sees you as someone very stable and reliable. There's something that they learned from you. They're reflecting on. Yeah. I feel like this is someone too. Yeah. They never ever really told you how they felt. They kind of kept things to themselves. Okay. Look at that. This is someone who held back. Uh, telling you their feelings. They were probably a little emotionally detached at the time uh, you were in their energy or you were around each other. Uh, they were focused on something else. It may have been the mother of their children where they need to purge and release that, okay? Yeah. They may have had mother issues with their mother or something like that as well. Uh, they're setting themselves free from it though. And I feel you are ready. You're like open and ready to go. Okay, you value this person. You're not afraid to let them know. You will speak the truth. Uh, definitely, you're up for this. 
You want this person's attention. You'll give them lots of attention. You'll give them all the attention they need. I think they realize it. So tell me about the world. Why is this world here for Gemini? Look at that. Yeah. So you've got somebody here, self-employed entrepreneur, hands-on kind of person, very focused, very dedicated, very sexy and attractive. Yeah. They get a lot of attention. They got a pretty big ego. Very creative person, though. And I feel they've gone through a lot of change. Uh, they've changed a lot. So I feel they could be headed towards you. They're kind of focusing on you. Yeah, this person has some demons. They need to they need to find that confidence, that strength. They need to tame that beast within themselves. And whatever that beast is to them, it's going to be different for each person. It's facing their goblins, right? Yeah, so tell me about the Page of Cups. Yeah, they want to communicate with you. Um, they, you know, they're kind of thinking about that. They're pretty focused on it. An apology or just reaching out. How are you? I think they're a little apprehensive. They might be a little afraid you've moved on. Okay, that you're in another relationship. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Why is this here? Why is this Page of Cups here? I feel like you're going to get some kind of communication or explanation. Oops, there we go. Yeah, trust your intuition here, okay? <laughs> See some Pisces energy. Yeah, this is somebody who hides a lot of their feelings. They have a secret. There's a lot of things they've kept secret, kept to themselves. Uh, but they're going through this change. They want to come towards you. They're quite focused on this. I feel as though <laughs> they feel like you're not very focused on them anymore, okay? And you want someone who focuses on you in the right way. There's something about that. Trust in your intuition. Make sure they're focused on you. Because this is somebody who does see you very sexy, very attractive. They see you as a star, right? They they really do. And you're holding yourself in high regard. They see that. They see that you have a lot of respect for yourself. Yeah, they're looking at it. This is someone who never really told you how they felt. And I feel you may have a little bit of fears with this person. But let's see what this Three of Swords is. It's not always heartache or third parties or anything. Let's make sure first. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Why is this here? The Three of Swords. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. Yeah. I I feel like this person, yeah, they're afraid you may be focused on someone else. If this person's taken a long time and they've kind of pondered and procrastinated reaching out, they wanted to have they want to have success. Like they're looking at how to communicate. And I feel like they don't have a lot of clarity yet. They're trying to find out whether you're invested in someone i feel that they've they've had secret feelings for you for a long time whoever they are uh, but they're coming towards you they are they're coming in to take the lead they don't want you to get away and if you haven't seen them for a long time they're worried yeah that you're going to be with someone else and they're going to get their heart broken <laughs> tell me about the two of cups why is this here for gemini and this person why is it two of cups they might have been a little afraid of this connection yeah so i feel as if they come towards you you're a little afraid you may not really believe them or you got your guard up or they do right they may have had their guard up they may have had a, had a little bit of fear of this connection with you in the past or they just i feel like this person doesn't have a lot of faith and commitment <laughs> I do. Yeah, I do. I don't think they have. You may not have faith in them, too, or there's something to do with the higher thought, something that needs. I think you're trying to teach this person how to treat you. Um, there's something they're thinking about. They're seeing they're shining a light on it. So I think they're a little bit afraid. They feel a bit defensive that if they come towards you that because they feel as though you're not focused on them anymore. OK, or that you're focused on someone else. And they're, I think they're afraid they're going to be hurt. They're going to find out you're in some kind of a commitment. Tell me about the Hierophant. Why is this here? It's kind of what it looks like. Tell me about the Hierophant. Why is this here? For Gemini, the Hierophant. I see that Taurus. Yeah, you want someone faithful. You want someone who's focused on you. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, this person's up in their head thinking about this. They are strategizing, thinking, trying to figure something out. They're facing this energy. 
feel like they're trying to find out something here. It's like the Page of Swords are shining a light, looking for more information before they communicate. Because they want to come in, take the lead. They want to take charge. This person knows. Like, they they see you as somebody who va you value yourself. And you don't really just focus on that passionate energy. It's not your only the only thing you like about them, that they're kind of getting this as they reflect, right, on this energy. Very interesting. So I see this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Yeah, this is someone who uses their head over their heart. They do everything they can to stay in control, very much in control of their passions. And sometimes they lose control. But I feel they're coming towards you. They're trying to strategize how to move towards you without losing control. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they want to see you. I feel they're going to communicate. They are a bit guarded, a little bit defensive. Like I said, they're they're kind of prepared that you may have someone else. And if if there's something that you may have said to this person in the past to do with a third party or something, they feel defensive about it. Uh, they feel they want maybe you want to defend themselves. Uh, for some of you, I feel this is going to be very different for everybody, okay? So, yeah, I do feel that they're more worried. <laughs> they got their guard up. This is somebody who's not always, yeah, they have their guard up. They have walls up. They don't really let anybody in. They don't always tell everybody everything. They kind of hold back. They definitely are passionate, creative, hardworking. I feel they've gone through a change. They're coming in to take this lead. I don't think this person... They're going to make this attempt. This isn't somebody who gives up, right? So be prepared for it. Yeah, there you are. You've manifested this. You maybe reached out, spoke to this person, said something. You spoke the truth. You have all the tools you need here, Gemini. You're being very smart, very wise, uh, very creative. You've manifested it. And I feel that this person is... Uh, thinking about coming towards you they don't want to lose control though they try to keep they are they i feel this person knows they it's like they block the connection they block their heart they're afraid of being hurt um whatever it is they were dealing with and i feel they really see that you value yourself you have a tendency to stick to yourself you keep your feelings to yourself within reason as well um they're a little worried you're not focused on them anymore, too, that you may be focused on someone. They have a, they're have really having a tough time with that. Uh, but I feel they're headed your way. They're going to just come in out of the blue. I feel that they're traveling. They're, this is somebody who feels like they're constantly on the move uh, to do with work and creativity. They want to just kind of go with the flow. They want to see where this is going to go. And this is what they didn't do before. They didn't give this an opportunity to see where it go. They didn't take the time to get to know you. Maybe they were traveling, focused on their work, their career. Uh, they may have had another choice. They might have been getting attention from other people, that kind of thing. I think their ego got in the way a little bit too. Did you say something with this person? I think they're used to getting attention. They're not used to chasing anyone. I don't think you fed this person's ego. <laughs> no, I feel like you just kind of maybe set yourself free and went off in another direction. But I see them right here looking at this. They're having some kind of an epiphany. I feel like you're going to get some kind of success, some kind of truth, some kind of communication or something that you um, need to know about this person. Okay, you will speak your truth. There's no doubt about it. Uh, you communicate very clearly. I feel like you both have possibly some mercury energy or something here where you just communicate well. But they never told you. No, they never told you. They kind of were blocking the connection, their feelings. They weren't being emotionally invested. And they're trying to sort of sort that out in their head. Yeah, they want to know if you're single. Like, that's what they're worried about. They want to know if you're single. <laughs> They really value you, that you always look really good. Like, they're thinking about all this stuff. You always look good. You take care of yourself, your house, your home. Everything's just perfect. And I feel that they do have a tendency to stick to themselves. They kind of hold things in. Um, it could be a little bit of a loner at times, but they're definitely a relationship person, right? They don't really, this is the kind of person who doesn't really need a lot of other people in their life. Just that one person, that's all, you know, they're looking at that energy, very thoughtful, they're trying to be wise, but they, they're very strategic too, like they, 
They're trying to learn something before they come towards you. I can see it. They're focused on it too. Tell me about the power. They may have some cancer in their chart, heavy cancer. Yeah, they want to put an end to the situation, whatever it is, right? Getting out of their head, thinking too much. Uh, they're going to learn what they need. I feel they've had a lot of pain, a lot of painful endings in relationships. So they definitely have that kind of fear right now. And that's what they've been working through, right? Putting the past in the past, healing and releasing. Uh, could, like I said, it could have been the mother of their children. The mother of their children may have been getting attention from other people. Like, I feel like they've never had a faithful connection, okay? Somebody faithful to them. And they're sorting this all out. But so this person's definitely a very deep thinker. Tell me about this page of swords. What did they not tell you? They're seeing things different now, though. With what they've been going through, this purging and healing, once you cleanse yourself of all those ghosts in the closet, the things that haunt you, taunt you, that hold you back, once you purge all that, you start to see things different. And that's where I feel that they're really at. And like I said, not just about you, but about either their whole life or all their relationships. Yeah, see, they wouldn't sacrifice their feelings. They wouldn't tell you anything. They kind of held things back. They sabotaged this connection. Uh, they may have a habit of sabotaging their relationships by not being the most emotionally invested. Okay. A little bit emotionally detached, or maybe they were that way with you. Yeah, I feel like you kept things to yourself as well. You held yourself in high regard. They're looking at that. They know it. You always look good. Uh, you always take care of yourself. Yeah, you got someone definitely thinking a lot. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles and we'll wrap this up. Yeah, I think this person, I, I this has like been your ongoing scenario if I remember correctly, the last while anyway, for some time of this person who's healing and purging, it's like they're traveling into the past of the ghosts of their closet uh, to purge and release something, okay? And as they're doing that, they're stumbling across your memory, thinking about you. So they're either in your energy now, okay? And this is going on, and they've kind of paused for a bit. They've kind of stopped. They've become a little detached. They're looking at that. They know it, but... For a lot of you, this is somebody that you, they're not around. I feel there's just a lot of this thinking energy. They're traveling into the past. Um, they have to do that. They have to go clear things out to do with their past to be able to move into the future. I do see some success. You're manifesting success, the truth. Nothing but the truth. You want things to be clear. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. See, you don't want anyone who's juggling. You don't want anyone who doesn't know what they want. Somebody who's unbalanced, doesn't balance or head over their heart. Right? You want this balance. So there are times I feel like you got your back turned and you're starting to weigh the pros and the cons if this person likes you, if they value you. But I'm going to tell you they they're reflecting on it. And they could be going through that right now. Whoever this is, whoever you're thinking about, I see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, very strong Libra, uh, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're very much like the King of Wands, very um, sexy, charming, charismatic, um, artsy. You know, they just have all those very creative energies. I think they want to know what you're focusing on, what you're doing, what you're up to, and they may just reach out to you. <laughs> So if your intuition, if you feel like someone's watching you or coming towards you or focused on you, your intuition tells you you're probably right. They're getting ready to communicate. Now, I can't say it's going to happen today or tomorrow because I feel they're still going through this. But if I remember the last few readings, they're getting really close. There's a painful period in their life that's about to end. That they're ready to put behind them so they can move forward. They want to be in control. Okay, and they need to stop being in control of their emotions, fighting it, fighting the connection, right? This is this person. Yeah, I feel they've been somebody who's a little emotionally detached. They've sabotaged some relationships. Uh, their partners go off and have attention from other people. They don't maybe give them enough attention. There's just a lot they're sorting out. 
Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is this here? Ten of Pentacles for Gemini. There we go. Yeah, so there's an ending. So yeah, there's something coming to an end, some Scorpio energy. Yeah, they're moving away from somebody. They're learning something to do with an ending, and they're going through this transformation. There's something that's being some transformation ending, something to do with safety, security, stability, inheritance, money, you know, that kind of thing, a solid foundation. I think this person's headed back your way. Uh, they're in their mind. Right now, they're just in their mind thinking about you. There we go. Yeah, see, they're thinking about you. They want to reach out. They want to talk. But they're just pondering it. They're looking at the details, what to say, how to say it. Uh, it could be an apology for taking so long. If you've been reaching out and communicating, asking questions, wanting to know if they're married. Maybe you've been asking them if they're married, what they're, you know, are you still married? Are you still with somebody? It's hard to say. The Queen of Swords communicates very clearly, but you want to know the truth. You're always looking for answers. You're always being wise. Uh, this is something you're manifesting, just going with the flow. You're trying to get something moving here. Okay. Yeah. They need to learn to go with the flow a little bit more too, right? You may have said that to this person. I feel like you've been patiently waiting for this person. Yeah, you've been waiting for this person to come in to have a fresh new start, right? A fresh approach. You want this with this person. So let me have a boo. I'm going to grab some outcome cards. So I feel as though um, this person's lacking. There's something you know that you see. Uh, there's some kind of epiphany you're having about this person being, you know, not. they're having a trouble making up their mind. I feel like the, pro the problem's not you, it's them. Uh, maybe you felt this person ghosted you because they were with someone else, that kind of thing. You have your own thoughts, and I feel um, you're looking into the future, and you want the truth, nothing but the truth. You're looking for clarity, uh, because I feel like you have all the tools, right? And you want to have success, but you need to know if they have anyone else. It's like you're just looking out there, right, for answers, for communication, for knowledge, wisdom. You're trying to learn something here. You definitely want someone faithful. You're very, you've got this traditional energy. Um, something you know about this person to do with their faith, whether it be religion, whether it be, oh yeah, coming together, yeah. See, you want to come together with this person. They're thinking about you. I don't know, they're just a slow moving. It's like they're just sort of sitting in their head. They're still focused on this energy. I think they're going to come out of this. They're just going to put an end to it. It's like they've been thinking too much. Yeah, to, they have to heal to be able to come together with you. They have to break free of something they're holding on to, something that doesn't serve them, either from their mother, their childhood, um, their wife, the, uh, you know, a past wife or the mother of their children, something like that. Yeah, they're getting ready to spread their rings. They're breaking free. They're getting ready to open up, spread their wings, just go with the flow. Right now they're in their head though, see? They're in their head. They're daydreaming, thinking a lot, figuring things out, making a decision. They're facing their darkest fears. Look at that. They have some fears. Now, they whether they have to do with you, commitments, relationship, whatever it is, it's theirs. It's personal. They keep it to themselves, okay? It's very private. You may have kind of tried to figure this out and focused on it for a while, uh, you may know what it is. You may have figured it out, but you're keeping it to yourself. You're not going to let them know that you know anything, okay? Yeah, because they've... And it doesn't have to be massive. Like I said, it could be just little things. But you are keeping it to yourself. I think you know what it is. I think you've figured it out. I think your intuition kicked in. Yeah, something is blossoming, see? This person... You know, they're ready for something new. See, with that sun, that fiery passion is building in this person. And I think they're ready to kind of break free here and uh, face those fears. They're starting to figure out how to fix. They've kind of gone within to fix themselves, figuring out their feelings or emotions or life uh, through this energy. So, wow. Yeah, seeking the truth, going within. See, they've gone within to seek the truth about themselves. And while they're doing it, I feel they've kind of stumbled upon you. If there's someone if there's someone you haven't heard from and you know who this is, okay, 
This is the kind of person who has people chasing them. They get a lot of attention, you know. A lot of people value them. Maybe they're very well known or very well known, get a lot of attention in their community, like a star kind of thing. Um, right? They can pretty much have anybody, but there's something about that they're looking at. It's sort of like they they're thinking about you. I see that Aries Leo Sag energy is pretty strong in here. Uh, very adventuresome spirit one of you has. So yeah, they're going within to seek the truth and you want the truth. You're kind of thinking about this person too. You're starting to think of each other. We got two sevens. You're both figuring things out. You're figuring each other out. I think I do. I, I think you're both thinking of each other. There's some kind of a coincidence going on here. One more for Gemini. Uh, you know what it is. You're not going to tell this person. Yeah, see, you're learning something here about this person. You figured something out. I feel you're trying to teach them, too, how to treat you. Maybe that's um, past energy. They're reflect because they're reflecting on the past. And I find that really interesting. And you're looking into the future. And, yeah, I feel you think that this person's juggling. They don't value you. But I think you're going to get it. Um in your own little journey here, that this person actually, they have this huge ego, but they actually feel inadequate. They have a lot of insecurities, okay? They're worried about money, you know, they have a lot of stress about that, I feel. They think a lot about that. They certainly do value you. Like, there's something they're really focused on about you, your appearance. Uh, you kind of just have everything going on. They want to know if you're single. I think this person's kind of hit rock bottom at some point. Okay, they've been kind of stuck in the mud. But see, they're thinking about you. They're stuck in those memories with you right now. No matter how they flip it, don't think they want this to end, you know, or they're thinking about how things ended. Uh, maybe they were stuck at that time, but they're reminiscing. That's an elephant. They haven't forgot, just so you know. Okay, <laughs> they're kind of stuck in that uh, past memories so very interesting yeah they got stuff to sort i think they'll figure this out so let's see if they come towards you i feel like if they don't come towards you like you're manifesting you want some success and you're kind of weighing the pros and the cons like if they come towards you you should kind of ignore them or ghost them because they're kind of doing this they're not facing you they're not talking to you they're not communicating they're focused all every hard to do with them is on the past except for right here where they start to come around and then they take this pause again and they stop and they think about their faith their traditions their belief their behavior the way they've conducted themselves in their past they're thinking about you um, the way you conduct yourself the way you hold yourself and they have a lot of respect for you okay so just so you know you're in their thoughts gemini there we go february you may hear by this person by February. That'd be next year. Somebody here could have sun, moon, or rising. Um, that would be Aquarius. Yeah, they're purging and releasing something here. Look at that. They're focused on that past. Cleansing and healing and purging out all that baggage. And then you have August. So you may, yeah. So once this person, wow. That's what it kind of looks like. But yeah. I see some Aquarius energy here. Pisces energy too. That that could be something that's connecting you. There's something that you know about this person to do with their past. With this Empress energy that you know that you focused on. <laughs> You're trying not to, but you do. You know something about them. They don't know you know is what I think. So you may hear from this person in August. And uh, I'm hoping, yeah. But you are weighing the pros and the cons if you should just ignore them. Like if they value you, like you're trying to figure it out. But you just want the truth. And I do think that they will come towards you and uh, speak a truth at some point. Or you're going to get your answer. And I feel like you you have kind of an aha moment that they're the one that's insecure. That you're kind of getting it. Okay, that's what I think. So take care, you guys. I wish you the best. Bye for now.